Last week I got the chance to play a little golf up at Eastman Golf Links in Grantham, New Hampshire to shoot the first segment of a multi-part series highlighting the marquee holes of area golf courses. So let's take a look at Eastman's scenic par 4 17th hole. We're here in beautiful Eastman Golf Links in Grantham, New Hampshire, and I'm joined by PGA professional Mark Larrabee on the 17th hole here. And Mark, what makes this, on the scorecard it's uh, labeled as your signature hole, so what makes this hole unique? Well, you could use virtually anything off the tee. It's got some decent length to it. You know, it's, uh, it's over 400 yards. But you can use driver, you can use a fairway wood, a hybrid, you can hit a five iron off the tee. There's quite a few choices because where you're going to end up hitting that second shot from, of course, is the key to making some fours and fives. Absolutely. So where does this hole rank as far as handicap and difficulty on the course? Well, it's in the top five. Uh, it's, it's, not, it's not the hardest hole in the course. We can make it the hardest hole in the course, you know, depending on where we hit that tee shot. But um, it's reasonably flat. And it does have a hazard out there. There's no uh, out of bounds of any kind. And the approach into the green is entirely flat. There's a bunker on each side. Okay. Well, I've been known to make a lot of holes difficult. So let's, uh, <laughs> let's give it a whirl here and see right. uh, how it plays out. Will do. The grounds crew was just finishing up their morning mowing when we stepped to the tee, leaving us ideal conditions on the fairway and rough if need be. That pond on the right was a little intimidating, just some 200 yards away, but Mark showed no fear with his hybrid and left the tee shot in perfect position in the middle of the fairway between the pond and the cart path. I chose to play things a little safer with a six iron that would leave me well short of the pond, and while I did execute the shot, it left me with a pretty terrifying second shot with nothing but water in front of me. Being the nice guy he is, Mark opted to play from my location to show me how it's done. I did my best to copy him, but uh, not so much. From there, we tried our hands at chipping up onto the hole's thankfully large green, and we had similar results with Mark leaving the ball about 8 feet short of the hole, and me rolling it past the flag a good 12 or so feet. We both putted from my location, and though I was pretty pleased to run my attempt just a couple inches long, I was quickly reminded what makes Mark a professional. Get in. Get in. All right. Well, that was a lot of fun, Mark. Thanks for having us. We can definitely see why that is the uh, signature hole on the course. So thanks a lot. It does have a little of everything, doesn't it? And you handled it quite well. <laughs> so let's get you back here so you can play the whole place soon. Well, I appreciate it. And I'll definitely yeah. take you up on that offer. And uh, for more information on this course and how to book a tee time, you can uh, take a look at the website and the screen. Be sure to tune in next week when we highlight the par 3 fourth hole at Newport Golf Club in Newport, New Hampshire. That does it for YCN Sports. I'm Mike Pizzone.